Hey guys, it is, I'm not even sure what day it is anymore, it is Wednesday here in West Virginia, and we're going to be unboxing the new uh, Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Mountain Drifters. Um, I got this set last week, it was kind of like a Father's Day present from me to me, <laughs> so I uh, was going to unbox it over the weekend, but it didn't get a chance. Uh, also, I was going to unbox my new DHL box my wife sent me, but we've been having a lot of issues in the family lately and stuff. We've had some issues my wife and I did, and she kind of just disappeared for a while. I don't know exactly what happened, uh, but anyways, not to get into that, this is about diecast. Uh, we're talking again, but things don't look so good, so not sure what's going to happen there. So I figured I would go ahead and make a video here and such. Uh, still not even really sure where she's at. I just got a phone call from her today, so it's a start. Um, but anyways, back to these mountain drifters. Um, it is really cool set. Uh, this is one that I was anticipating. I wasn't really going to collect many more Hot Wheels. I was going to stick with my mini GT stuff, as you see in the background, the wide body GTRs, Supras, Lambos, and Beamers. But this set came up and I had to get it predominantly because of this car here, the ER 34. And as you guys know, I used to have it in the resin from Eno 64, which is a nice looking car, don't get me wrong, but it's a very lightweight piece of plastic. It doesn't roll. Really not my cup of tea. I know static models are the thing nowadays, but not for me. I'm old fashioned. I like my cars to roll and be heavy, have a little bit of weight to them. So this is the next best thing to me. So uh, very nicely detailed, beautiful card art, as you can see. And then on the back, it shows you the five that are in the lineup. Pretty choice five-car lineup here, uh, I would say so, in my opinion. But uh, anyways, let's get this ER34 off and take a look at him. So this is your LB ER34 Super Silhouette Nissan Skyline. This is to pay homage to the R30, R31, by that was ran by Hasimi. Uh, can't think of his last name. But anyways, um, that's where this paint scheme came from. That's where uh, the whole idea of this car came from. So, very cool. They even took the time to make the cage yellow. They made a separate piece for the cage instead of just the kind of molding it into the interior bucket, which I find that to be very nice detail. Uh, five spokes resemble pretty much what's on the car. Maybe slightly different, but they're as good as it gets for like Hot Wheels real riders at the moment. Uh, the livery is there. And it is very, very nicely done. Big chin spoiler. And then the three-mount rear wing. Kind of with the wraparound things. Kind of like the TRD racing rear wing. Very sharp looking car. This one I definitely dig quite a bit. So, that was my favorite from the set. would like to find the Chase Black one. Not that I'm really collecting Chase stuff anymore. I just think it looks awesome and all black. Pretty cool. My second favorite of the set is the AE86. The Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno. This is a fantastic looking car with this JDM cultural like anime paint job on it looks really cool and this is a newer style will maybe not new style will but it is a smaller diameter than i've seen before so as you can see really small diameter six spoke style will looks really good usually these would have like the small diameter four spokes but this has a small diameter six spoke which kind of new pretty cool all the details are there with lights, emblems, the wraparound, anime girl on the rear bumper cover, side mirrors casted in, popped up headlights, your grill, marker lights, everything is there. 
pretty nice casting. That was another thing that I did like about that one because it has all of these like little subtle details that make it like a high-end like Kyosho or something type of car because of all the mirrors and headlights and such. Now, another new one for this set. Not only was the R34 a new casting, but so is this 95 Toyota Celica GT4, which is also a sweet looking car. I didn't think I would care much for it, but after I got it out of the package, it is a pretty sweet looking little car. So let's get him out and take a look at him. Get a better look at him. And this is another one that has casted inside mirrors. And the rear wing is metal, I believe. Nicely detailed hood with all the vents and everything, all the emblem for the Toyota on the header panel, the headlights, grill, everything is there. Beautifully done. Chrome 5 spokes look excellent on this car. Nice tail light details. Everything is there. Makes the car look fantastic. So hats off to Hot Wheels on another spectacular casting. Really, really do dig this one. And then we have the NSX, the 03 Honda NSX Type R, better in the States known as the Acura NSX, but very nicely done in white with the white 10 spoke style wheels. Looks really, really good. Um, so let's pop him out of here and take a look at him. And as you guys can see, I've pre-opened these packages to move us along quite quickly. So really nice little emblem on the fender, tail light details, license plate tampo. Overall, fantastic looking car, headlight covers, the Honda emblem, nice detail on the hood. Everything looks perfect. Air intakes in the front. Beautifully done car. Then last but not least is one of my favorite because it kind of has a little bit of Mopar heritage. It is your Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 and aka in the States the Dodge Stealth RT Twin Turbo. So it looks pretty good in this blue actually. And with the 10 spoke style wheels looks pretty good. Let's get him out and take a look at him. And anyways, you have nice detail with the recessed areas on the door. The side skirts. Nice tail light detail with all the marker lights. The 3000 across the rear panel. Uh, third brake light under the rear wing. Very, very nicely done. Headlight detail, the three diamond Mitsubishi emblems, your fog lights, everything. Very nicely done set. How will premium has come along a long, come along quite a lot. This should say it's harder for me to get that line out. But yeah, very nicely done. As you can see, man, they have some nice stuff. That is your Mountain Drifter set there, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I love it. Set that I will be hanging on to. At least I will hang on to a couple of them. Definitely those two guys there. Other three are optional. As I said, I don't get too attached to anything anymore. So, anyways, uh, I will have some other stuff coming up maybe later in this week. It just depends on how life treats me. So, we're just going to see how things go with that. And if there's uh, anything that I have. If you're interested in, let me know. Still selling stuff. Still have a boatload of Mustang melons um, and some other stuff. Check out my IG and my Facebook. As I said, I didn't have the time to do the unboxing of that last DHL box, and it was the biggest one yet. It had over 100 cars in it, but unfortunately, I had too much bullshit going on with life to do a video on it. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. So, we'll talk to you next time. Say bye, Ethan.